make sure to stay until the end it could be something completely different that most people never think about that guys and if you don't do it right you may just waste your money hey guys welcome back to auto repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be super helpful video to any of you having a dot challenger guys if you have one of those and if you need to replace or have problems with camshaft uh, adjuster guys or actuator camshaft actuator bank one actuator one stay with us we'll explain where it's located how to replace it how to test it and what can often cause a problem with that uh, actuator that's actually not the actuator itself in some cases you may not need to uh, buy new actuator and we'll talk about that as we go you have four of them so make sure to stay until the end and we'll explain about each one of those today so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage guys we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can oh we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video uh, if you need to buy any parts tools for your dot challenger or any car you want to save quite a bit of money get them at a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so let's start on it now so this specifically guys it's a 2018 dodge challenger that we'll be uh, demonstrating on so let's go ahead we're going to go ahead open the hood and uh, we'll explain here okay before we open it what we have here this is a 3.6 engine v6 engine so we have one cylinder head on this side and you have another cylinder head on the other side now uh, this is known as bank one cylinder head the other one is bank two so bank one will be that cylinder head right here this is the two camshaft actuator for bank one now uh, this right here okay that's unplugged that's actuator two this is because it's on the exhaust side and this is actuator one in order to reach actuator one uh, carefully okay you will need to remove the resonator here so we'll go ahead do that and we'll continue with the next step so let's go ahead and remove that hose now we have eight millimeter we are going to pre-loosen that hose clamp there perfect let's see if it comes loose perfect now we have one hose clamp right here on the throttle body pre-loosen that one okay we're talking about that one here here you lift it up okay we need to disconnect the intake air temperature sensor here it attaches with one rubber bushing that rubber bushing goes in that uh, in that post right here once we remove it we can get to the cylinder head you can see bank one bank two cylinder head that's uh, camshaft actuator one uh, this is because it's on the intake side that's how uh, the engine works practically you get one first uh, first the engine gets air and fuel and then it comes out of the exhaust uh, if you have problems with those okay it could be multiple things so let's talk about that first guys make sure you don't have oil leaks that can cause a problem make sure the connector is plugged in all the way and it's not contaminated okay and uh, actually the wires are clean and not contaminated uh, another thing dirty oil guys engine oil that's dirty can cause problems with those camshaft actuators uh, use the correct type of engine oil if it says 5w20 use only 5w20 we recommend leaky moly oil guys this is one of the best oils that we used okay i'll put the link in the description of the video below that's for a bmw we currently uh, own but uh, uh, it's the same oil 5w20 you can get it it's one of the best german oils and uh, if you still have problems with the uh, code or something relating, relating to the camshaft actuator try leaky moly additive engine flush now we made a video guys on a 190,000 miles porsche cayenne and let me tell you that engine flush is unbelievable it's unbelievable the engine was like new when we opened it after so many months we flushed it and it will look really clean and if that doesn't uh, check out we have a video that explains how to test camshaft actuator on dodge so the video will be on the channel uh, uh, you will need to remove it so let's go ahead show you how to replace it now so we are going to get torx 25 okay let me focus quick okay one second okay uh, no. i'm having a 
star time the camera focusing today okay right there torx 25 star looking bit let's go ahead remove the three screws make sure you don't drop anything in the engine because that will uh, practically destroy your engine and uh, if it's not dirty oil dirty oil filter wrong type of oil you did an engine flush and you replaced even the camshaft actuator and it's still having problems we'll explain what else can easily cause that as well so uh, let's go ahead do that now right here we have one more perfect it can leak oil out you have one seal that will come out we'll explain how you need to replace it that seal put new seals every time you remove them guys uh, make sure you clean the canal and now the seal goes in the canal right here otherwise you will not be able to install it and just start pushing it in it might be stretched a little bit too or not so flexible because of all the heat and age so always replace them that's the camshaft actuator where we have a video how to test it and you can see it pushes that's a variable gear on the inside and uh, if you have still problems you may have problems with the camshaft sprocket variable camshaft sprocket and we will have a video how to replace it if you need help with that as well hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time